Hey everyone, today I'm not gonna be uh, doing any codings, uh, rather I will just be sharing the single page application I made with Flask and it is on my GitHub named uh, Co-op App, uh, short for Cooperative Application. It is used to uh, manage a small cooperative in a company and co cooperative is pretty common in my country so like uh, employees add shares and or contributions monthly and then the collected fund is being um, lended to other people with small interest and eventually all the profits is divided to all the members all right so the uh, repo has a readme uh, readme.md uh, containing all the details uh, on how the app can be installed and the demo is uh, demo app is deployed on Heroku which is the link over here and it should uh, open in another tab because I right clicked it and open a new tab so first time load um, by the way the Heroku Heroku by default does not load the hobby applications or the free free account applications uh, up until someone requested it so first time load usually takes uh, more time and even though this app is uh, very simple it has cost me a lot of time in co coffees <laughs> yeah and well probably because I am not that skillful uh, in web, web development yet and so the default login is dev dev and which should take you to this dashboard and So um, you would notice that the page has reloaded because uh, for me the login page has a different uh, HTML base than the dashboard. So I intentionally reloaded it. And going back to this app, this UI is made by Colorlib, which is uh, pretty res uh, responsive. And um, this admin is called uh, admin Safi. Hope I pronounce it right. So you can uh, find the link on the uh, GitHub repo. And in here you can change um, the company setup. Uh, let's say this one. Save and yeah, saving works without reloading. And you can add more users somewhere here but I'm gonna skip it and I will add a new member and adding a new member should be uh, as easy as um, Oming that's my uh, alias yeah, so oh, I live on earth oops uh, I don't have my keyboard so I'm using the, the laptop keyboard, which is I'm not used to. And create. And then uh, once you have a member, you can now start adding contributions, which is then um, on here and just click contribution and add contribution and look up and use Oming all right then you can approve the contribution all right um, 
uh, approving just means that the um, contribution cannot be updated anymore and then you can now create a borrower which I already have one here which is I just name it John Doe and also lives on the earth but let me just create uh, Sarah Smith I'm just inventing names and Sarah Smith I'm sorry Sarah Smith <laughs> you live on Mars create and once you have a borrower you can now um, create loans which is add loan and look up a borrower start date would just be today uh, the 1st of January and terms would be 2 alright so after adding you can maintain the, the transaction loan and say you want this to have you want to update it to four four terms and clicking update should um, um, should reflect and then let me just bring it back to two so I don't want in uh, more terms and then um, okay um, approving should stop further updates and um, you can just pay stuffs like here I will pay pay then pay then complete and by the way there is an auto generated uh, loan sequence here on top that is for the loan and uh, you can look it up on the setup menu sequence and so the member borrower and the loan has their um, respective uh, prefixes and the last module is the inquiry which is just a view function it's just here to look things up no modifications here and the key point here is the application is not doing a full reload which I think is pretty cool so going back to the github uh, here are the uh, packages that I used and Big credits to Pretty Printed and Traversy Media. Yeah, thank you guys because I learned a lot of stuff just from watching your videos and also for the color lib uh, for this awesome template. And I also have a different uh, videos for each packages here, but they are all on Tagalog language. So to end this, um, it is completely free, uh, free to use on whatever purpose and uh, just be responsible for it and that's it thank you and have a nice day